I'm Lady Aska and today we want to talk about outfits in VWrite Studio. I realized that I neglected the clothing feature in VWrite up until now, but there are a few things that are really important for beginners. Let me know in the comments later if you learned something new or if you knew all of the mentioned tips already. Let's first go over the basics a little bit and what can be done already without making your own textures or pattern, but just using the presets that VWrite is giving you. As you may see here, each item has a little parameter sheet on the right. Here you can make adjustments to the fit of an item. Not all items have the same amount of sliders, so remember this for later, so you can get the most out of your custom pattern by choosing the right templates. Always remember that each slider here can also be altered well beyond the initial bounds. For example, the volume on a jacket here would stop at 100. But what happens if we type in 200? As you see, you can make the item even bigger. The same goes if you want to go into the opposite direction. Let's say you want the jacket to be closer to the body, so your volume would have to go into the negative digits. To demonstrate this, I will type in here minus 10 now. As you see, the jacket got more closer to the body form. Let's put it a bit further and use minus 30. Now you can start to see the skin mesh coming through. But if you wanted that snug, what if that's exactly the look that you're going for? VWrite actually offers a solution for that. Let me introduce you to skin masks. This is our first venture into the custom tab now. You access it by clicking the edit texture button to the top right. Now we see the outfit pattern, but we won't do anything here yet. Instead, we will go to the little pretty hidden tab on the top left right beside outfit. If you click on the default design, you will see here a mesh and some black and white areas. The trick here is that each area that is colored black will make the skin invisible and thus would solve our clipping issue here at the top and at the belly. Let me demonstrate. You will fill the respective areas with black with the pencil tool. You can even draw directly on the model because we work here on a completely different layer and it won't affect your outfit at all. As you see, now the clipping disappeared. To demonstrate it further, let me show you the effect on a piece that isn't covered by clothes. If I draw on the hands now, you can see how they disappear. Of course, that isn't really useful if you don't want to create an invisible avatar. So how can we reverse the process? Because many of you may have tried to delete some parts of a pattern and texture and were met with this. So maybe you think, that's easy now. I just erased the black parts, right? Let's try that now. Mm, okay, that didn't really go as expected. So how do I get the skin back? The trick is to paint the mask white now. The skin mask work with the black and white shades only. Generally speaking, the black parts will make the skin invisible and the white parts make it visible. With that, you can alter the sliders and erase the skin texture whenever necessary to avoid clipping. I can only recommend that you experiment with each sliders as much as possible to understand their function better and to get closer to the vision of your outfit. Now, let's say you want to change the color of an outfit. For example, this trouser here comes only in black. But you really want a pink one. And more importantly, you don't want to lose the nice folds that the item has already. As you see, if we go over to the pattern with the new color, the folds disappear, even if we used a new layer for it. Always use a new layer for any kind of alteration, by the way, so you don't lose the default layer. One way to keep the effect of the folds intact is to alter the drawing mode. With the modes Color, Multiply, Hue, Overlay, Vivid Light, Divide, you will be able to keep the folds intact, but the color won't be the same anymore, or you would have to implement a workaround for it to be the right one. Also, don't worry, each layer that you create here on the left has its own drawing mode applied. So you can get even closer to your desired look without actually altering the base texture at all, just by layering the colors and using drawing mode. All this can be, of course, done outside of Vroid. But I wanted to focus first on the things that a complete beginner could use within the program itself. Let's say you wanted to make this trouser here now a shorts. 
Imagine literally cutting out parts of the fabric to get the look that you want. Also, you better do these alterations before adding color in. Of course, it doesn't always have to be a clean cut. You can experiment with different styles. If you want that both sides look the same, don't forget to make use of the mirror option. Now, another thing that you can do without leaving Vroid is the layering option. You can layer up to five templates on top of each other to get a more rounded outfit. Let's try this now. Let's add a cardigan on top. We can already see that the cardigan uses the hoodie pattern, but Vroid already offers this cut and prepare pattern by default. The new pattern will appear under our already existing texture and can be altered the same way. Let's continue our Robinson Crusoe look and also make the cardigan look like it gone through a lot. Hmm, maybe this guy survived the zombie apocalypse. If we wanted to color our cardigan in now, we would have to be careful because if we just mindlessly drop color here, we would also reveal parts of the hoodie pattern. To avoid that, we first duplicate our default layer and then activate now the toggle alpha lock option. If we draw now over our pattern, we see that only the already drawn on parts get affected by this change. You can try now as many colors as you want without affecting your base pattern at all. We can now save our new item as a custom item and have a full new look already without ever leaving the program itself. I hope you can already create a few really cool pieces with these techniques. See you all next week. I hope you have a wonderful day.